Greetings, folks. It's Nick Hodges, a developer advocate for Rollbar here. Uh, this is about take six of my attempt to finish a Twitch stream. Uh, nobody's watching the Twitch stream right now, which makes me feel a little better because I keep screwing it up. And uh, that's okay. Uh, working to uh, improve things and get uh, get things rolling here. So we're gonna we're gonna try again. So uh, what I'm trying to do is give you a very simple demo, probably about as simple a demo as you can get for a roll bar, how it works, how you might want to set it up. I've got a simple application here that basically is a form with a subscribe button. We can go over to the code for this and see that it is indeed just a simple form with a subscribe button that submits a, a bunch of, bunch of uh, uh, text boxes. But here's the critical part, right? On submit, we call validate form, which is in this code.js file. And the validate form uh, function, uh, I know you're not going to believe this, but it validates the form. And it does that by calling these validate last name validate. And if it finds them, it puts them into an array and then displays that array with an alert message. Otherwise, it just says, you know, hey, everything went great. But uh, this is pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Now, you notice I've got some commented out roll bar code here. Uh, that will be coming into play here in a minute. Um, and what I'm going to do now is go back. And if I just hit the subscribe button, you'll notice we get some errors. The first one is the uh, first name is required. And the second one, which is a regular error. And the second one is the uh, server fire that starts because we don't have a last name. That's a critical error. Obviously, a server fire is critical. Although, I think it would be kind of cool to see if you could start a server on fire just by making a, submitting a form. But anyway, be that as it may, it's a contrived example, but illustrative of critical errors. And we'll see that working here in a second. So, in order to get things going with Rollbar, I'm going to come over here to our dashboard and I am going to select create a new project and I'm going to call the project Twitch Stream Demo like so and I'm going to create the project and it'll spin up and it'll come back and ask me what the SDK that I want to use. This is a very simple JavaScript file inside JavaScript inside of HTML served from my hard drive. So I'm just going to pick JavaScript. I'm going to you'll notice some of the other options we have here for a number of different popular languages and frameworks. And um, I'm going to hit continue. And now the system is on the dashboard waiting for data from your JavaScript app demo, which we call Twitch Stream Demo, right? And it gives me a chunk of code here. Now this code has in it a specific access token, which is unique to your application. You can use this application, you can use this access token in multiple applications if you choose, but be advised that they will all end up being reported back to this project called Twitch Stream Demo if you do that. So I'm going to copy this code, and you'll notice that it's, uh, there's, a, there's some, uh, there's an object here, a rollbar config object that's got some settings in it. And then uh, it also has a long line of code here. It's not that long, it's a very small chunk of code that uh, basically creates and in implements a rollbar object that knows how to talk to the rollbar servers and report information about errors that occur back into your into our into our uh, back end so we you can see it through our application and I'll show you that here in a minute. So I'm going to copy this code, right? And then I'm going to go over to the code index.html and I'm going to place that code right as the very first script inside the header, inside the head link. So that means that the rollbar code will preempt, or not preempt, but the rollbar code will be active for any subsequent scripts that you have, such as errors that might occur in this file that I've got here. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, uncomment all these rollbar uh, uh, chunks of code here that, that uh, will send errors, critical errors, info or even a just a debug message like uh, console.log used to be back in the day uh, to rollbar which will end up showing up on the rollbar uh, dashboard so you'll notice that it's waiting it's still spinning it's sitting there waiting for errors to come through and now I'm going to go through 
I'm whoops. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to the browser. And uh, you'll notice, as I said, it's waiting. You can see that here, spinning, 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 waiting for errors. I'm going to refire up this application so that the roll bar code in. Then I'm going to press the button, and it doesn't work because I didn't hit Control S. Let's see. And now I'm going to try it one more time, and it doesn't work. I wonder why that is. Why would that be? What have I done? to irritate the demo gods. This was working when I practiced. I practiced. I really honestly did. I've been practicing so much. So I'm going to try and fix this and see what's going on. Uh, the demo dashboard, the, da the project dashboard is still waiting because the errors apparently are not getting raised. Maybe I didn't hit Control S on the code snippet. Can I save all? I'm going to hit save all. I'm going to redo this. And now it works, of course, after saving. I got hit save all. So you notice you got the errors there, of course. And now, in a few seconds, we should be getting dashboard errors. There they go. And we got some dashboard errors. One is the error, let me see if I can, one is the error uh, called not having a last name will start a server fire. It is a critical error. It gives me a message. The report sends all the telemetry that occurred for page loading, user clicks, and loggings that occurred afterwards, right? And you saw that all of that happening. Now, what happens there when Rollbar does this is Rollbar gets a package, a, a, a payload from the code that was in our index, in our index.html file that we embedded in there, if you recall. And it takes that, that, that package and it gives that package a unique fingerprint. Basically what it does is it uses the stack trace that occurs as a result of this error and shows and creates a unique fingerprint for the error. And what that does is it um, allows us to group the errors together based on those fingerprints. So for instance, if I go through here and create another set of errors, first name is required, so I create the exact same set of errors here that result, you'll notice in a second or two that instead of getting three more reports on this, I get a whole other set. I get the same set of reports, but the totals just increase. Let's try and prop this up here and whatnot. There we go. So you'll notice that the two errors, and we've got two errors now. It recognized each of these individual errors as, this, as identical to the previous ones. So rather than giving you a huge stack of repeated errors, uh, Rollbar can give you information about the grouping of errors, which is very critical because sometimes errors occur many, many times and you don't want to fill up a log file with the same error over and over and over and over again and have to pour through that. But instead, you can see how many times exactly it's happening, well, how many different IP addresses it's happening from. Obviously, this is only one because uh, I'm the only one doing this. But let's, uh, let's go to this critical error just for fun and drill into it a little bit, as I mentioned. Um, you can resolve the error if you like. You can say, oops, I know that error is fixed, so it don't show it to me again unless it reoccurs. You can notice that uh, we're starting to track how often it happened in the last 60 minutes, the last 60 hours, and the last 60 days. You saw the telemetry earlier over here. And now let's go to occurrences, and we see we've got two occurrences. So you can actually look at each individual occurrence if you want here and now you can see for this particular occurrence here is the payload all the parameters that were sent back f with the error that were then used to create a, a fingerprint you notice that it gives you all information about the client including what plugins i've got installed for uh, uh for the javascript client which in this case is the uh mozilla browser uh web you know chrome browser actually but uh it uh, all the information here regarding the error, including the requested URL, the IP where it came from, all that good stuff. Lots and lots of information. And you can actually create your own parameters, put user-defined parameters in here. Um, this is the unique ID of this error, just in case you were wondering about that. That's always fun. Uh, the timestamp here. Um, and all kinds of good information about the error. 
So that's the basics of it. Let me go back and show you again. You, you just empty out the uh, uh, queue and run the errors again. And uh, we should see on the items list, the items dashboard, we should see that that has now happened three times. But this one didn't happen again. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. So this is the basics of Rollbar. This is the basics of how it works. It reports and lets you know about errors so you can respond to them within seconds. You'll notice that it's, you know, they, it, it's been with less than 30 seconds where they report back when these errors occur. Matter of seconds, actually, of these errors occurring. And then, of course, you can do things with them. Now, this is about as basic a demo as I can give. And this is me um, on my first Twitch screen. So I thought I'd keep it simple, keep it straightforward. But what you can do is uh and we'll show this in so I'll show this in some subsequent streams as we get uh, a slightly more sophisticated applications going is you can actually respond to these errors in specific ways you can automate the process of rolling back uh, turning off feature flags anything like that that can occur as a result of um, working with rollbar so that's all I got for today I appreciate you tuning in um, this is a recording of my twitch stream uh, which is under Rollbar Inc., R-O-L-L-B-A-R-I-N-C, which is the username. Uh, tune in and uh, subscribe, and I'd love to see you live. But uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate you coming by as well. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Goodbye.